All right, Kevin, also Detroit firefighters upset tonight over what they say they found at a place where many of them learned their trade. In this age of identity theft, no one wants to find their own personal information sitting out in the open. But that's what some of Detroit's bravest say turned up after a fire last week at the former DFD training school on West Warren Avenue. On the scene, some firefighters radioed their union chief to tell when documents containing their own personal information was scattered throughout the abandoned building. Jason Colthorpe investigating this story for us tonight. And Jason, so uh, who's responsible for that info? Well, the city is, and the city says it was assumed all that info was secured when that training center closed in 2015. I'm told the city was told again about a year ago personal info of the rank and file, which includes medical records, and it was believed to be removed in May after they were notified again. But new video shows it was still there just two days ago. The guy's birth date, social security number, rank, name, you know, it's all there. Personal information of firefighters strewn across the floor at the old fire training academy. Days after a fire there and three and a half years after it closed. Video and pictures time stamped yesterday and obtained by Local 4 show pages of payroll info, including that of senior firefighter Michael Cretu. I can't tell you how pissed I am right now. Mismanagement and negligence beyond pale and no one will be held accountable. That's the sick part. This is just one blaring, glaring example of mismanagement and, and lack of just just lack of concern. They're removing all rubbish, um, all old textbooks, all papers, anything that can be removed will be removed today. Department Brass says this is simply cleanup, not a cover up. We vacated this building. It was in 2015 and all sensitive information was removed at that time. However, if, if a few forms here and there were left behind, it, you know, that's a, that's a possibility. Whatever was left behind was compromised because the building has endured several break-ins since it closed. We're in a world today where um, things like this happen, and uh, we took all the necessary steps to ensure that uh, personal records were secure. I'm appalled that, let's say, my ID used and stolen and my credit ruined. They would then stand there and say, well, oh, I don't know. It's an accident. It's crazy. Things happen. Now, something might have jumped out at you during that story. Take another look at those documents. They look awfully well preserved considering there's fire damage all around. Now, some of the arson investigators are questioning whether these showed up after the fact. The union called it too absurd to even respond, but noted Look at the dates in the corners. Do you really think we'd have kept these documents for 17 years just to have them planted now? Mm -hmm. So it just it, it keeps swirling here of uh, somebody's not telling the truth is what it, yeah. it amounts to. And all of this while Captain Nevin is under investigation by the city, right? And I asked him about that too and he said, by the way, that investigation has gone to the prosecutor and now back, so that's still ongoing, but it's not in the prosecutor's office. He said one thing doesn't have anything to do with the other, had no effect on why he brought this up. Hey, Jason. Yeah.